and I'm going to do a Spartan race. Now, I've got a, I've got two knees that are, and I'll, I'll go into some of this a little bit in a minute. I got two knees that haven't been doing anything, and there's some surprising things that have happened with them. I've got a hip that they've been wanting to replace, a shoulder they've been wanting to replace, an elbow they did fix, but I've got body parts that are starting to come back together. My body's a little bit different than most people. And I need to have that because it works. It takes away this pain that is miserable. Hey, Craig, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Well, thanks, Tracy. Welcome to be here. Well, it's nice to see you again. Yes, it's it's been a while. It's been, let's see, we started in uh, last year in April. So it's it's amazing how things have taken place and how things have happened. Well, it's been about 10 months since I spoke to you last like this. So why don't you let us know what, what changes you've seen with your device? Well, at the time we came in, we had the two black devices. And then as mechanics would have it, my black device failed. And we had to go without one for a while. And then we got the white devices. So we ended up getting a couple of white devices. And the white device started giving some things to me. But I wanted to talk about that black device because I call it the blue light. And uh, it was one of these things where certain things started happening to me that I hadn't have happened since Vietnam. And there were feelings that I was getting. My fingers started to straighten out. There were just things that started to take over on my body in such a short period of time. And when the white device came, because the body injuries that I have are so massive, my pain level is OTC or was OTC back then. And just to get it to where it is now, 10 months later, I can handle a 10. Parts of my bodies are still at 10. Other parts that were 10 are now down to like eight, six, four, because I've been I was broken up pretty bad. But the thing is, the OTC, I haven't seen that for months. That off the chart pain is ridiculous. Off the chart. I was going to ask you, what's OTC? Yeah, it's just off the chart. It's you just, you blink or you turn wrong and that pain hits you and tears come to your eyes. You can't do anything about it and you, you can't flinch. You just have to keep going. Life is about keeping on going. Life is not about stopping and feeling the pain. Life is about pleasure. And I talked to you back then about pain and pleasure. That's how I look at life. Yeah. I would have let all this pain creep up on me. I couldn't have enjoyed everything that I've been enjoying. Couldn't enjoy my kids. Couldn't enjoy working. Couldn't enjoy driving in my cars. I couldn't, I couldn't have done any of this stuff. The biggest joy that I have right now is I have a son who is does a lot of Sparta races. And he's my youngest son. And he's seeing the change in me. And I'm going to do a Spartan race. Now, I've got a, I've got two knees that are, and I'll, I'll go into some of this a little bit in a minute. I got two knees that haven't been doing anything. And there's some surprising things that have happened with them. I've got a hip that they've been wanting to replace, a shoulder they've been wanting to replace, an elbow they did fix but I've got body parts that are starting to come back together. And the biggest joy I have is the fact that I have been recovering with the two devices. I've got two more coming and then the HHS is coming. I'm gonna be wearing four devices when I'm not around the HHS because it's, my body's a little bit different than most people. And I need to have that because it works. It takes away this pain that is miserable. And where it's at is knowing how the QHS has gotten me this way. And all you guys are amazing. You guys are just 
blessed, amazing. But my son, he's got some world records that he's held with Spartan that nobody's going to touch. Um, I've had all my kids kind of get in the same philosophy I had that second place is not the place to be. You know, there's a lot better places to be than huh. second. So I won't go any further with that because some people can't handle, you know, what I'm saying, maybe. But first place is where you need to be. And Adam has taken that to a level that's unbelievable. And I want to go on a race with him. Maybe the HHS will help the ARC. I definitely know will help. But I'm going to beat him. And he, he's miserable about that. I mean, he's great. He's, he's, How old is he's, he? He's 40. Okay. And he's at the top of his game with the Spartan races? He, he does... A lot of things that I can't talk about that are outside the Spartan stuff. But he's working five 12 hour days plus a half a day on Saturday and still finds time to train for Spartan. And in his age class, from where he's at, he's not the runner. He didn't get the DNA that I have for running. He got all the strength, but he didn't get the running part. And he's losing some of these races. He's finishing second and third in a lot of these things just because he can't run. It's 13 miles is 13 miles. But there's a lot of these guys on the elite portion of these Spartan people. They want to have him. He's 37th with the, the elite portion. And as far as rankings go, they want him because the muscle stuff Nobody can beat him on that stuff. Carrying the, the 100 pounds, 80 pounds, whatever those things are, going up the hills. And you can't break him on that. And nobody can nobody can compete with him on that level. Wow. He, he takes that 40-foot rope, and he's up there in like three seconds. So he's, he's, he's got a lot, of, a lot of good things. But my body right now won't do all that. And I'm looking so forward to getting with him and uh, – and I told him, I said, I'm going to do this. And he says, well, I'm going to still beat you. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. But this, the way I'm recovering, it's just amazing. And if if I could tell you a few things, I'd sure like to say a few things. Please, I'm all ears. All right. Well, here's what here's where we're at. It's like there's things with my fingers that... They've been busted. They've been everything. I got arthritis and that sort of thing. And Tracy, my fingers are straightening out. These fingers were so bent and crushed, everything else. They're actually straightening out. They were all crooked, like this one right here. And this one's starting to straighten out, but it was worse than that. This thumb, when I talked to you, was hanging down this thumb because of that when i put that white device on this hand it has actually put itself back in place this thumb would hang down this thumb is where it's supposed to be when i talked to you the first time you were asking about some of the things that were wrong with me this has been broken most of my life and the, that white device has actually moved this thing up and the pain in this is ridiculous because it it the hand doesn't want to accept the fact that it's there because for 40 some years it's been hanging down the the joint is it's kind of hard to, to to maneuver it and fix it i can't bend it but it's where it's supposed to be but little things like that on my on the rest of my body my knees, I had both my knees done because they thought it would help because of Vietnam. It didn't. And I told anybody that wanted to get knees done, don't have it done. I've been putting that, I've, we've been sleep, I've been sleeping with four devices now. I gave one of my devices to Deb because she was going through some really bad stuff. And I was, I had her black device and my white. And then now we've, I, I use all four of them when we're at night 
kind of make things work. But I've actually could not get on my knees after they got it done. And I can actually get down on my knees now. And my wow. kneecaps don't give out. And that is, it's, it's like a miracle, but it's not a miracle. It's something that Dr. A said was going to work and it's going to work. There are other things that are going to happen. And certain body parts, it's like my biggest problem is my my shoulder, my right shoulder. It's so busted up from what happened. They can't fix it because the only way for them to fix it is to put an artificial arm in. It's the only way it can be fixed. And if they wanted to try to put it together normally like typically they would try to do the limitations on what i could do i could only pick up 10 or 15 pounds i couldn't climb a ladder i couldn't grab a rope i couldn't do anything over my head i couldn't raise my arms up because the socket is so badly damaged that if they tried to put something mechanical to make the biological arm work together limitations would keep it from doing anything so when i talked to them about it at the time before finding qhs i didn't care i just wanted to be able to be mobile and it didn't bother me one bit if i was gonna get my arm cut off because i've got friends that have you know parts that have been replaced and they're working and i just the pain is ridiculous but I think once I get to the arc, everything's going to be fine, you know. Mm -hmm. But things have been fine going this long with what I've been doing. It's just a matter of staying real close with God's attention, remembering that God's got this. That's the whole thing. And the devices, these devices are amazing. But you've got to believe and you've got to trust in what's going on. But there's the cramping that I get from when my body changes at night, I, I can't move the devices down fast enough to, to get that stuff to go away. It's, I would have to have like eight devices on my body in order for it to work. To, those are the spots that are the worst. There's eight spots on me that I can't control. So but you've just, noticed since last time, since 10 months ago, you've noticed incremental improvements Oh my gosh, I'm even getting hair growing on. I got hair growing out of my out of my body that hasn't been there. I've got dark hair coming back into my body. I don't know what to do about this part up here. For some reason, God just thinks that it's funny to have all men have a bald spot up here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I've got new hair growing in my body. I've got fingernails that are back to unbelievable strength. I've got fingers that are straightening out. It's just, it's just, a, it's an amazing walk. It's a, it just, it's just a journey that I'm ready for and got to be patient. Got to have some patience sometimes. Sometimes things don't always fall the way they're supposed to fall, but uh, it's when you start thinking about my situation and where I'm at and what I've gone through, it's, I'm not going to trust somebody to put something, try to fix me. I'm just going to try to let everything that Dr. A's got going on, let it happen. And when that journey is there, I want to be the, the billboard. I want to be, I want to get a shirt that says, take a look at this body. Yeah, that's right. I'm 162 years old, you know, something crazy. But uh, I'm just looking forward to this this journey and when we sit there and do all of the calls get on the with everybody that's part of this the administration when we're listening to everything that's going on you guys are so tremendous there's such a good group of you and it's just if this these members if they don't start listening and paying attention they're missing they're missing the biggest event ever to have the moments that you guys start speaking and talking and then sharing everything to us 
And then we were takers. And I don't like being a taker. I'm a giver. I like to give. So, but I've taken from you guys. I want to give back. Somehow I want to give something back to y'all, you know? Oh, Craig, you have been a tremendous support of the project. And Deb is on the MAP team, right? Right. Okay. That yeah, is we were, we were originally uh, with the... Uh, uh, well, we 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 uh, we we've been putting some donation stuff on everything because we wanted to help you guys get to where you could get, and we just we're sitting there waiting, and, and we're just looking at just whatever opportunity there is, and then all of a sudden, some good news came with Deb getting on that. She's loving it. I've been a builder all my life, and you know if if you guys need a place I'll, I'll build it in a minute you know it's just what i like doing but uh i've talked to cynthia about stuff like this you know okay. and it's just I, wherever i can be used I, I can be used you know but there's a lot of people that are there right now and if i can be of support to them or be of help to them that's great wonderful that's yeah because they're that's i mean that building whole thing that's going to definitely be something uh, I don't, you know, I don't know her plans because I have my narrow focus, but right. when you say building, I just think, yeah, of course, we're going to be needing to build design and, you know, implement centers and things like that. So, well, that's, that's something that when I was doing my work, I've been a general contractor all my life and I got out of, got out of NAM, I went to work for a guy and I decided that working for somebody is not what I wanted to do. So I started my own business. So I started my, my first business in 1973. So it was just something that needed to happen, you know, yeah. and I kept going with it. And I've gotten a lot of fun out of what I've done. And I won't go into a whole lot of it because some of it, I just personal and I just, I don't want to keep it to myself. And uh, the thing is, it's like some of the buildings I've done are just off the chart. And that's what I like doing. I had a reputation back when I was working to where if something couldn't be done, they would call me because I would figure out a way of getting it done. And that's what I liked about being a general contractor. That's what I liked about getting around people. And uh, you, you, get to, you get to meet the, the strangest of people that way. And sometimes the strangest of people are the most fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody in my house thinks i'm strange but oh you know. tracy you're far from strange you're amazing so you know <laughs> people gotta look at you i'm sure they look at you all differently but uh you sure lightened me up when we had our first conversation so i was really glad to have met you back then and glad to talk to you again so well thank you craig i feel the same way so you mentioned earlier qarc and are you going to come back and do a part two video? Actually, it will be part three now. But will you come back and do another video after that? Oh, I will. I mean, and I'm going to come back. I'll have a, I'll have a tan. I'll have a, I'll have a face that looks good. I'll, look, I'll, I'll be pretty You'll be flexing sure. the gun show. Oh, I used to have Ooh, the guns. Oh, I used to have the guns. I used to have all that stuff. I was 206 pounds and looking like, well, my... If you were to see my son's picture, you'd see me. So, Aww. yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. My well, family, they, they, they just, they know where he came from. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I I've can't got other wait. kids, but it just, he took it, he took it to the limit. Like I did. It just, well, I can't wait to hear about your race with him. That's going to be phenomenal. Well, it's going to take some more. It just, I'm, I'm having, I, I've still got problems with the knees. They don't want to walk like they're supposed to. So running is pretty difficult for me still. Um, it's it's one of these things where you got to have goals. You got to have stuff. Originally, my one goal that I had be, before these injuries started getting worse was at 90. I wanted to set the world record for the fastest quarter mile. I was headed for the Olympics because I was the one of the faster guys out there. And also I was a pretty good pole vaulter and I was wanting to do that. And I ended up getting, I, I can't say blessed, but uh, 
there was a lot of people that I know are alive because of things that happened, but I ended up having to go to Vietnam instead. So, but uh, it is well, what it is. Thank you. So, thank you for your service of just, the country. Just most thanks. You know. Thank you for your commitment to helping. Craig, you're awesome. You're a wonderful human. And I am so, I have a question though. Sure. If you're going to do this, this um, thing for the Guinness Book of World Records and you're 90, but you're post Q arc, are you going to be disqualified? Well, see that I was, I was having this conversation with Deb and I thought if it, it, yeah, I will be see, but here's the thing. Um, there is no record for anybody doing anything at 200 years of age. So I'm going to be the first. <laughs> so you can set the record. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of hundred, you know, hundred year old records, but there's nobody that's 200 years old. So, <laughs> or even probably 150. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, I just, uh, I just look at life as just a journey that when, when God blessed me with, the energy that I have, I've spread it around as much as I possibly can to everybody I can. And I don't expect anything back. That's my thing. I just, I love giving. I just, I'm a, I'm a hard person to receive things. I don't like taking things back. I just like giving. And the thing is, is getting the things that I'm getting from you guys without being able to give back. That's, that's hard for me. It really is. Well, thank you for being so generous and kind. And I think you have given back. And mm -hmm. I, I I just so appreciate you and Deb. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the other side of this, if you know what I mean. Yes, I do. I really do. So wonderful. It, so what, the... what would you like to say in closing, my friend? Well, the thing is, is that People need to look at themselves as who they are and where they would like to go and decide what they want to be. And to me, when I interpret that to myself, I want to be the best I can at whatever is out there. And here we all are dealing with white devices and HHSs and all this other stuff. But are we the best at it? Because nobody knows. We're the first timers. So what does it take to be the best at it? My body is turning into things that I haven't done for 50 years, ever since things happened. So how much further can I take it? It's what I taught my kids, you know. Can't is not a word that I ever taught my kids. You can do anything you want. So what I want to do is just see what it's going to take to have people see what you all at QHS are doing for all of us and spread this out so everybody can have the effect that it needs to have. So everybody can feel this, this wellness, this greatness, this desire to be around everybody. Right now, everybody has questions and things and da 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 da. You got to look at it. I call it pain and pleasure. You're going to have some pain, but the thing that you got to deal with is that for every little bit of pain, you got to have a little bit of pleasure because you got to have balance mm -hmm. and you got to have balance in your life. And the thing is, is that mine got a little whack. And then you all came into place and it's getting back where it's supposed to be. But now I'm starting to feel pretty good, but I'm not being able to give anything back. So I feel out of balance that way. But that's just me personally. But people need to decide what they really want. And if they really want something, then they need to share it and stay with the group. And so we're all a team and we're all out there just helping, doing what we can do to make sure everybody can feel that energy, that excitement, and that joy. And that is the plan. Well, I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, my friend. Well, thanks so much for coming to spend time with me today. It was so good to see you. And well, it was great to see you. Every. It's it's uh it's one of these things where 
I look forward to all these, all the times when you all are talking to other people and hearing their stories because there's some good ones. And mine, I've only touched a fraction of where I'm at. I mean, I could go on for an hour and uh, some of it's pretty, pretty crazy. Some of the things that I've I done. would love to hear more if you have more. Well, I have more, but uh, maybe at another time or something, because I don't want to take a lot of your time. You are, you are so busy. And there's, there's so many other people that need you. Don't get me wrong. I do too. But the thing is, is that I have the patience to give you a call again and say, Hey, I want to tell you this, something about this. And there's a couple of things that I have not told you. It's a story and uh, you, you're going to crack up. You'll be in, you'll be in. Okay, well, well, you have my number. <laughs> I, I do. And I am going to call you again. So, but I know okay. you got a lot to do and, uh, you're appreciated much. I am greatly thankful for all the, everybody that is out there that you all are doing. Thank you, Craig. Sending you so much love. Yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys to pieces. So I'm there for you. If anytime you need me, just give me a call. Okay. And happy to be there. Until um, next time, my friend, have a beautiful yeah. day. Until next Thank you for making this QHS project fly. This Valorous Admin team, thank you. The key community welcomes you. Thank you for making your home QHS healthy and happy. Thank you for helping us place QH centers all around the world. Together, hand in hand, we make miracles happen. QuantumHealingSystems.org Thank you.